Another aspect of power distribution when wiring a car up or playing with the wiring in your car. It's not an uncommon perspective to put the battery in the boot. Now, when you take an OEM car that has the battery in the boot, like a Skyline, they run a battery cable up to this battery terminal, and then they run from that battery terminal down to the starter motor. The reason they do this is that they, the OEM factory know that a starter motor draws a lot of current and has a lot of flyback. They know that flyback can create problems with other power distribution centers in the car. One of the other things is that with a starter motor, you've got a couple of hundred amps being drawn when the starter motor engages to turn that motor over. So the power draw here could pull that power support source down to 10 volts. Now, if you're trying to drive six injectors, six coils, and a starter motor off 10 volts, it's not really gonna make a nice starting car. So if you're moving your battery to the boot, we recommend that you run a negative cable all the way to the engine, as well as to the chassis, and you run a positive cable to a remote battery post, then from the battery post to your starter motor. You don't connect directly to the starter motor. Connecting directly to the starter motor, even though it'll save a couple of dollars in cable and installation, you will have headaches further down the line when you've got current draw and power losses on starting the engine.